Got another exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So this is acids, bases, and pH number 18. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So the question deals with Ka and pKa. There's a little bit about weak acid approximations. There's a question on titration curves and choice of indicators. Hope you liked the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video, if you want to try it first. So first part of A, we've got to write the expression for the acid dissociation constant for this weak monobasic acid. So all I've done there is just written up the dissociation. Um, and remember that the Ka is a measure of the equilibrium concentrations of the products divided by, in this case, the reactant. So that means the Ka expression looks like that. Next part, they've shown us the simplified version of the Ka expression, where we've got H plus concentration squared, rather than the two individual concentrations. So what's the approximation that's being made there? Well, the simplest thing to say is they're the same concentration as each other. Now, they haven't asked for a reason for this, but just for revision, I'll just explain quickly why we can say that. It's basically, we're assuming that the H plus concentration is coming from the dissociation of the acid only. There's also H2O present in these uh, equilibria, and we're ignoring the H plus concentration from the dissociation of water because it's so tiny. And then the next part, we've got to calculate the pKa value of the weak acid, and we're given the concentration of the acid at 0.09 moles per decimeter cubed, and we've got a pH for the acid at 1.95. So first thing we need to do is to convert the pH into an H plus concentration, so we can go and square it. So H plus concentration, 10 to the minus pH, so 10 to the minus 1.95, so that number there. So if you put those numbers into the Ka expression, we're getting um, Ka equaling 1.399 times 10 to the minus 3. And all we need to do to turn it into pKa is minus log. So it's coming out at 2.85. So moving on to part B, what the first thing we've got to do is draw the best fit curve on the graph. Uh, apologies, mine's not the best in the world. It's not easy on an iPad, but I'm sure you make a better job on a piece of paper there. So that's the first thing we'll have to do, and then we've got to use this curve to help us calculate the concentration of the ethanoic acid. So this is essentially just a straightforward titration question, but instead of being given the volume of the um, barium hydroxide, we're getting it from the pH titration curve. So using my not fantastic curve, I'm getting a volume of 12.6 centimetres cubed. The range allowed in the mark scheme was 12.4 to 12.6, so I've just got it there. So first thing we'll do is calculate the moles of barium hydroxide used, so concentration times volume in decimeters cubed. So using my endpoint of 12.6, I'm getting the moles of 7.056 times 10 to the minus 4. And then we use the mole ratio in the equation to get the moles of ethanoic acid. Remember it's in 10 cm cubed. So it's a 1 to 2 ratio, so we double the moles of barium hydroxide. So my answer is coming out at that. And then to turn that into a concentration, we do moles divided by volume in decimeters cubed. Um, my answer is coming out at 0.141. If you read from the graph a 12.4 centimeter cubed endpoint, you should get an answer of that. And if you got 12.5, you should get that. Then for the final part, we've got to choose a suitable indicator for the titration. So I know you probably won't be able to see the detail in that, but I've just copied the uh, titration curve. What we're looking for is the pH range of the vertical section. So it's roughly between 7 and 9.5. And then all you're looking for is an indicator that will catch that vertical section. So you can see phenol red would do it because um, its range falls within the vertical section. Likewise, the phenolphthalein would as well. So either of those indicators would be fine there.